Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Hey, your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. Tons and tons of you when you ride right on over here. Special welcome to you. Thank you so very much for joining the family. I hello those of you that were there from the beginning of this journey. Manners and respect, sympathy. Now today, first things first. Today is a beautiful lady. It is her birthday. It is Beverly Goring's birthday. Beverly, big up yourself, sweetheart. Let me hope that you get everything that you wanted, your heart's desire. And guess what? If you never get everything, you've got life. So give thanks. If you never get the cake and the ice cream and the balloon and all the ribbon and all of them something. Give thanks for life. Give thanks that you woke up this morning. And when you look around, you could have recognized everything. That's the best present. Big up yourself. Happy birthday, Bev. I hello please to please to say hi to Beverly in the comment section. Big her up. Tell her a happy birthday. We are a family. That's how we roll right on the Jamaican cooking journey. And on the subject of birthday, Adrian, Adrian Prince, you gotta send me a copy of your birth paper. Big up yourself, Adrian. About some minutes ago, I just met Adrian in the supermarket parking lot. I when Adrian is a Miss Debbie, Miss Debbie. Oh my God, me can't believe. Adrian was the one who requested that I cook up something, that I cook up vegetables, something that I offer the food dumpling and something in a winter when I have no meat. Adrian, big up yourself. And he has another request and I'm going to fulfill it. And when me do it, I'm going to call up Adrian's name. Beautiful young man. Aye, man has every piece of young man, you know. But no, 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 young boy. Big up Adrian in the comment section. Big up yourself, honey. Love you, Adrian. Now, all you do, please, let us get right into this. Now, if you have not seen the last video that I have uploaded, I told you that we were on some breakfast idea for Christmas morning. You see? Jamaican, straight Jamaican. Christmas morning, Sunday morning breakfast. Yesterday, or the last video that I uploaded, it was the salt mackerel and banana. And I said, we're going with the little, the little, the little soft yam. You know, see, when we get out from it, but we did start him out of camera. Now today we are going to do the, the, the version, the tin mackerel breakfast version. And we are going to be showing you, just like what we showed you what is supposed to go with the, with the salt mackerel. We are going to show you what you are going to put with the tin mackerel. We are going to salt out the part there and show you how to fix up the tin mackerel. That all the people in the pan, I don't need tin mackerel, I don't need tin mackerel enough. We are going to show them how they can get some tin mackerel, fix up nice and enjoy. Let's rinse our hands because... And should be clean when you're in the kitchen. You know that. Right on over here, we got a um Jedi a Jesse. So we have been preheating some oil and really low. We are gonna be putting together today some fried dumpling with this tin mackerel. Let us begin. Because at the end of it, you will see how this tin mackerel and fried dumpling go. Now, if you're new right on over here, you're new to the cook Jamaican cooking journey. There are videos, or I am going to leave the link in the description to show you how we get the dough like this for Friday dumpling. We are not going to be doing it on this one, because on this um, video, because we have done it already. So I will leave in the description the link to that video that shows you how to get your dough to the flour to make the dough to this point where you can have it nice and beautiful to start out your fried dumpling. Now we are going to be frying some dumpling. And let me tell you something. After we finish frying the dumpling, we don't mess up no more part. We are going to fix up the tin market in that same part. Let's get right in. Hello, please. Please to say hi to camera daughter in law. She's behind the camera. <laughs> so, I'll let you pre eat. Put me here and go on with nothing because she and all that talk about me hilarious. You know, she will drop the camera. So, I have to just behave neutral. So we're putting in right in now, camera daughter and I'll show them what we're doing. We're making our dumplings, getting them into this oil. I'm going to show you. So this is how we are making our dumplings. So let us go make all of our dumplings. And when we return, when we are finished making these dumplings, I'll show you how the pot is supposed to look. Soon come. Right on here, camera daughter and law. We have our dumplings. And you notice 
we need a shallow fat fry now we're not deep fry we are in between shallow fat and deep frying so the dumplings are halfway in the oil shoot them up camera that and law and the pace at which the dumplings are frying now that they are frying like that you're gonna be covering your pot whether jesse or it doesn't matter what your pot name you need to cover your pot because we're gonna leave it on that next to low and when we are ready to turn we will come back to show you how it's like we are frying our dumplings and we cover the pot so they are steaming whilst frying so right on over here when you see us not not when you see us next but we'll come back to show you when and how you to turn your dumpling then so we are going to be preparing to also our tomatoes our onions our scallions we're going to be using some fresh thyme and hello we are going to be using this we don't know how what this, this one is because all of them did come in at the same bag but sometimes them come off a different tree we're going to be using other scallions and we're going to be putting a nice little gig to this here tin mackerel i said tin mackerel and fried dumpling and i'm selling it straight to your christmas morning breakfast table so come get into this pot and look at this camera that and i'll get right here you're gonna be turning these now to the other side when you're ready to turn they must have this color and halfway down again into the oil so you see that almost half of each one has been fried not necessarily mean that because it has the color it's properly cooked through okay so you want to turn let us look at this we're gonna turn turn all of them until you have everybody looking like this you notice when you, re you see that happen now you realize that your baking powder your raising agent is active hello please beautiful this is a beautiful pot of fried dumpling please comment so you have them at that piece okay so you turn them over and the other half of them are inside the oil put the camera on the camera that time now. if you don't want to do like me do what you like there is also another way i'll show you how to fry but we love the method there because whilst them are fried them are steam and them soft juicy and succulent when they finish one more shot camera that time let them see what i go another part with the fried dumpling beautiful please comment comment please y'all and these dumplings so let us go cover them now for them to be finished on the other side so when we return we have a remove the fried dumpling them from the oil and if we have too much oil which i think we would we're gonna take the excess oil out we are ready to get rolling pan that tin mackerel suck me soon come okay now family our dumplings our camera girl, camera camera that and i shoot them up are out so you put your nice little and um and towel and you have to catch a little extra grease what you want to do there's some eat now what you want to do you just want to make sure all your dumplings are properly covered that there is no hair getting into them okay so in another 15 minutes you have one of the softest texture dumplings so make that go on right here now in the interest of time we have removed the dumplings as you can see and we have removed our excess oil we have here some thyme some green scallions are we're not call it um whatever we call it just killing a jamaica or i don't know what and garlic so we are going to put this into the oil to flavor the oil right now this is what we're going to be doing right now not too much of an eye eat we don't want them burning remember we're not looking friends with them we are looking for type what we're looking for in the comment section when we use the garlic and all of these stuff in the oil what are we looking for family please type it in the comment section no friends right on over here let us get it right out so you don't be long you're not going to be long with it now you know you're going to stir it around a few times because you don't want them to burn because let me tell you something the scallions and the garlic they will burn right in with your tomatoes right now now that you have put in your tomatoes get your heat up right up few strong steers right in with all your onions as much as you want or as little as you want right on now with some apple cider vinegar and we are using like about this which is about one and a half tablespoon or one and a quarter tablespoon okay now that you have got that in you notice we're doing this a little bit slight different from the salt mackerel okay look at this 
you're gonna be covering it down because you want that vinegar flavor there to go through so we are gonna be turning it right down now to let these get soft and juicy gel together because when we come back you know we have a put tea in the tin mackerel we have some sweet chili here so with some salsa something optional that is if you want to you can and look here we have the cream of the crap we have to put this in at least so let's give it a few minutes to you know gel down when we return okay you on right team look at this now some people don't like their onions cutting big so you can cut your onions to how you like them if you want them if you like your onion rings like this you can do it if you don't you can cut it finer but Family, can I ask? Please comment. How do you like your onions? I like mine like this. I have removed the thyme. That's what I was doing there. I have removed the thyme. Okay. So look at this now. Nice. Properly cooked up. Please use a fork. Don't do that. what I just did. Right now with your eat up. Hello, please. This is a beautiful tina jack mackerel. Really lovely and really nice. You don't want to break it up too much. Don't let it be too small. You want to taste the mackerel, you know. You understand? So let us get it down a bit. So you will have your kettle with a little warm water. And just to the side, just to the side, that's about a tablespoon. You're going to under and over. Right now, if you like, you're going to be putting in some of your sweet chili or whatever you like. Because they have all different types of sweet chili. So put in your sweet chili of choice. If you don't want it, you want to put in a little Worcestershire, a little nice, you know, any little nice sauce when you're covered. Feel free at this point. Okay? Now look at this. Look at this beauty. Camera that and you're shooting them up shoot them up shoot them up shoot them up beautiful right back down to low five minutes time will be in your fields with tin mackerel fried dumpling breakfast soon come family we are right back on the low and look at this and we did not remember to put in our scotch bonnet so we added it soon as we came off camera so it's right in there it took the e the e took it all of the scotch bonnet flavor inside of it. Cam I'm camera out and I shoot them up now. Look at the simmering of it. Let's turn our flame right off. This is the, this is the, look, hello. This is, look here. This is tin mackerel, y'all. This is tin mackerel. Let's play it up some. Try not to make a mess. Look at this. Look at this. You're trying not to make a mess. So you hold your plate like this. Try not to make a mess. Beautiful lovely lovely right there we did make a little bit but not a lot hello take up as much gravy as you like right on over here this is a beautiful plate of tin mackerel coming right to you into your face right in your face now you want to dish your tin mackerel with the gravy like almost camera that and like you're in on this halfway to your plate hello I feel fry dumpling them and your dumpling them fry. Fry dumpling and finger food. We don't use knife and fat eat fry dumpling. So you want to take your dumplings and you want to put, if you want, I don't know how much you want, you know. But I'm just giving you three for just a presentation. So you would put your dumplings like to the other side. So you don't put it and let the thing, camera that and I shoot them. And let the dumpling them go into the mackerel. When the people that are eating or the person that is eating ready, then will come who open up them dumpling camera that and like shoot them up look at the softness and the juiciness and if you know when dumpling is properly fried you will see that the dumpling fry let me show you when the dumpling is fried it's loose how they do please and you come right like this and you dip the dumpling hello please this is really hot and you put it into this and you open it up You'll be opening up your dumpling, using it to heat up, to suck up this juice. But you don't let the dumplings catch into the sauce until you are ready to heat. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your plate, 
to your family table, to your Sunday morning breakfast table, and most of all, to your Christmas morning breakfast table. It's tin mackerel and fried dumpling. You see me, uno si se me do it from start, okay? I showed you everything. Take this tin mackerel, make it your own, okay? Those who said them don't eat it, make an offer to them and see what happens. Now, if you have liked this video, remember to share it with your friends. Remember also to subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe to the channel, remember to leave your um, comments below. Click the bell first, leave your comments below. That is how you'll become a member of the notification. True, when you're here, we are calling all the people in name. Leave your comments below. Try to let it be principled and decent, okay? Remember to like, 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 like. Share, share, share. And remember, most of all, to subscribe. Now, this is the tin mackerel. Previous one was the salt mackerel. Tell me in the comment section, which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Which one you have had before? Or which one you feel say you're going to cook for your Christmas morning breakfast table? Because I, them thing you have to make decision, you know. Today's post notification shout out goes to Hello, Sheppy is you, Sheppy Bradshaw. Big up yourself, Sheppy. Tell me which one of them, are, whether the salt or the tin, which one you prefer. Now, we have some additional information on how, if you want to donate to our channel, you can donate. So I'm going to leave the link and all, I'm going to leave the information to all of that because you will have to get through to me in order to do that. So in the description, I'm going to be leaving the information for my WhatsApp number once more, my email address. So there's a new way of getting to donate other than PayPal because some people don't do PayPal. Debbie from Dungayar, bless, no stress.